Tom. Hello everybody, Tom Fox here, back to more Star Wars Knights of Republic 2. In the last episode, we made it here to this uh, secret communications hub where we were able to get some transponder codes with T3. It has been a month since I recorded this. Uh, I wanted to do something real quick here. What do we... Why? Well, I, I think I should be wielding two weapons, honestly, here. Um... I know what I want to use, but I don't know if I have it. Ah, the Artec Ion Master. There we go. I also got this. I'll go for, like, the, the, the droid, uh, fighting... The, yeah, the droid upgrade there. Or some perception sensors. I think the fighting upgrade would probably do me well. Or the warfare modif- actually, that'd give me constitution. Let's go with that one. So we are... Audi. We are Audi for oh, no. I think I just equipped an ion gun! Who are you? You're not supposed to be here. Confident statement. You have the list of Voga's launch codes. You will give these to us now, or else we will be forced to take drastic action. Surprised statement. You are foolish to think we will allow you to take that information back to your master. Amused query. I think you will find the odds are somewhat in our favor. Now will you be giving us the codes or not? Incredulous statement. Then we will have to take them from you, which I assure you was our preference to begin with. Beep! That means die! I have an ion gun! Although I think these guys are weak because you only have T3 for this section of this. Either way, just doing this is fine. I could have gotten sniper shot, but I don't really have anything that gives me like a expanded uh, expanded crit radius here. Either way, they are dead. I get their HK parts, utility stuff, another HK chassis. Uh, droid quandrum armor. I've got modular plating two, which gives me plus six defense. Quandrum gives me plus seven, plus a lot of resistances and immunity to fire. Damn! All right, there wouldn't there wouldn't be any more, right? There shouldn't be any more. Wait, where are you going? You are not authorized to leave the warehouse. Screw you! I'm leaving. Bye. I'm T3. I'm also standing here. There you are. What kept you? T3. Yeah, I know there's droids in the warehouse. So what? Debris. Atten's neck. He says he's got the transponder codes to Vogus freighters, one that can be picked up by Goto. We could go to the repair shop by the landing pad to overhaul the Ebonhawks codes. From there, we should make a nice target for Goto. Uh, if you're hunting Goto, you will fail. You are chasing ghosts. Sh uh. Why did he turn on his shield? I will accompany you, help you. Yeah, right. You're the one who wanted to sell him to Goto in the first place. I will not rest until your Jedi is found. Upon this, I swear. Hanar has joined the party. Is Wookie tough? It's a good enter. Wookie rages. Look, Kamara. You are very sure they came in here. Yeah, go in and find out. But pay me my credits first. Yes, a very fair request. Shoot him. T3 leveled up. Look at how bad he is. He's so bad. And all the skills we get for he...
There we go. Red level 20. Oh, actually, he's my highest level character right now. And I like how the, 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 the dark side Wookiee is significantly more good than the rest of my characters here. Um, let me check my equipment that I got so far. Got a Reek Blade. I got two Reek Blades equipped. I think I should be using the Shyarn. Because even though this is balanced, I think it's only if it's used in the offhand. Whereas this does 6 to 17 damage. No idea what that would relate to in terms of a die. Like 1d11... No, 1d12 plus 5, I believe. I also goes Flurry. Uh, anything else? I got the Specialist Tech Belt, which is good for, for Hanhar. Mandalorian Power Shield, or Canyon Energy Shield. Let me see what that does. Bludging, Piercing, and Slashing for that one, or Energy Sonic. Alright, so... I gotta remember to actually use my, my shields here. I got nothing I can wear on my head. Alright, we're just gonna go with this then. I wish I had the ability to heal, but, you know... That, thus is life, I guess. Oh, there's a lot of them! Help me, my droid friends! The shield can only last so long! I'm doing it! I'm actually using my shield! Let's level him up so he doesn't die! Precise shot, what else do we got? I'm gonna up his dexterity so he can do better for various other things. Skills! Oh, what even? Uh... Uh, computer use, why not? Man, this Arcanian energy shield is good. So one thing I will say, I actually had to record this uh, a second time. Because the first time I recorded it, uh... The, uh... All the audio was, uh... So I record... When I record this, the audio gets put into separate tracks on one video. And it ended up being that it was all on one track. Switch over to the Mandalorian power shield. Maybe attack the guy who's trying to kill you with a gun? Oh, they ate through that shield. There's literally no downside to doing flurry. Are we still in co what are we in combat with? Anybody else around? Uh, we got one guy using fists, one guy using a staff, and one guy using guns. I think I should be good for what I'm doing here. Okay, maybe actually turn- not the Mandalorian shield- oh shoot, okay. We'll give it a shot! Oh, that did a lot of damage! Wow, okay! Let's take a little bit of time to retreat here. A Jug veteran, huh? T3! Oh boy, uh... Did he die? Yeah, he died. God damn. Okay, Atten got back up with the- yeah, this happened last time. Atten keeps getting up with a quarter of his health. So then we could have him switch targeting onto him so that way we could just sort of take him out easy peasy here.
Meanwhile, uh, advanced repair kit on self. On self! On self! On self! On self! Oh my god. I hear you. Do you? T3! T3 now! Actually, that's not bad. We could probably take him out pretty easily. The Gand! What are you doing? Run! Coming around the corner? What did you have on you? Well, that's a lot of stuff. Okay. I don't know where Atten went, if he's even still alive. No, he's on the ground. That was the wrong guy. Atten's up! More where that came from. Oh, and Atten's down. Oh, and I'm gonna be down if I keep taking hits like that. No, run! The camera! Real hard to navigate Atten's back up. Where are you going? That's the wrong guy! Oh my god! Is Hanhar getting back up? Jeez, um, are there more of them? I see more Gand there! Faza, help me! You interrupting me for a reason? I have a lot of work to do, to manage here, right? So, what is it? <laughs> Alright, uh... Now that we're out of battle... I suppose healing might be the, uh, the best, uh, course of action. Oh, he gets, like, nothing back. Alright. I'm just gonna rely on T3 for all these battles. If they go after T3, then great, because then T3 can just absorb all that. If they don't, which appears they're not, I don't think my allies actually have the intelligence to use their, their energy shields. I guess because they seem like such a limited resource. Everyone's down. I mean, they tried real hard to get to him. A Gand Silencer. Maybe that was a Slicer. I didn't quite read that properly. More Gand? I hope I got Atten that feat where he could, uh, where he could use his weapons better at close range. Oh, I don't take melee well, guys. Everyone down. Yeah, Hanhar. Okay, you know whatever. We're doing fine. We're a little clunky, just a touch clunky. Maglunky. I am in the wall. There we go. Ow, oh, there's more Jug. Oh, where's my Jedi? Where are my Jedi? Let's use the box data repair kits, cause... 
Honestly, not going to be using them much. Yeah, this is actually going a lot smoother than my first time doing this. Oh, there are six of them. Jeez, um! They are all on me! Why doesn't it work? Oh, there's a frag grenade on him! Shoot him! Just shoot him! Alright, alright, alright. Well, I'll go for one guy. This is going... Unremar- This is going re remarkably well, and I'm scared. <laughs> the droid! The droid is the linchpin in all this! Get the droid! Get the droid! Holy cow, this is going so much better than last time. Last time I had to depend on Atten constantly dying and getting back up in order to win this fight. I don't know why he keeps getting back up. Alright, fortunately he's just Gand over there, so we can we could probably take them out fairly easily. Alright, use, using the, another uh, charge of the energy shield. I think I've got infinite of those? On this particular shield? Plus, only one guy seems to be trying to go after us right now, so I can just pick him off while... Alright, here comes the second guy. Man, the Gand are really good at fighting. Everyone down. They're little guys, but man alive, they, they can get the job done. Are they actually gonna pull stuff out there? I see a little silhouette of a droid scaramouche, scaramouche, will you do the droid dango? Watchman Blaster. All right, are there any more? We've had a real rough go of it. All right. I so so one thing I don't know if you're supposed to be able to do this or not, but oh right, the Ebon Hawks ID signature, right? <laughs> Gotta change the Ebon Hawks ID signature. Gotta save that guy that I don't like. I actually don't like anyone on this crew, but I dislike that person in particular because he brought us all together and is also causing us all this pain. <sighs> oh god. Oh shit. Okay. Doc. Okay. All right. Tientop. Uh, uh, hey. I see a shape. Someone there again? Welcome to Tien's shop. My eyes are old, but I can see you want something from me. You change our ship's ID signature. You have like transponder card, yes? This is uh, this I can do for you. What ID signature do you want to use? Uh, one of the ID signatures received from uh, B5D8. As you say, just one moment. It's done. Much luck to you, visitor. Yemen Hawk is uh, will be intercepted by Goto's yacht. Two party members uh, will be able to board it to save Obizar Kenobi. Who is the first person you want to send? Uh oh boy. I'm just gonna send my droids along. I'm gonna, uh, so let's go T3 and HK. Why not? And away we go out of the, the city moon of Narshada. Hop, hop, and away. Uh oh. Meanwhile. They are fleeing, running away on their very ugly junction. No, they're going to rescue their leader, brother, from Goto. That means they have they have a way to reach him. Follow that ship. All the space traffic around Narshada should hide our pursuit. Oh, he's got the deja vu drift going on! My ship's turrets are, are aimed and primed to take you out if you do not dock with me immediately. Do so or perish at your own discretion. It is I, Goto. How do you like my Goto impression? Mm, my 
was expecting someone taller. I hope you are not in too much pain to hear my words and understand them. <laughs> I am Goto, one of the officials representing a percentage of non-sanctioned trading here in both the YouTube system and Republic space. And I had a question for you. Are you a Jedi? <laughs> I hope you're not in too much pain to hear my words and understand them. <laughs> I am a Jedi. Good. I am already wasting precious minutes in granting you this audience, and I do not wish to waste any more. I have gone to considerable expense and effort to bring you here. It is because I have a job for you. Uh, is that why you hired every bounty hunter and assassin in the galaxy? Too afraid to show yourself by except by hologram? Afraid? No. It is simply difficult to be in so many places at once. Holo technology is currently the most effective and convenient way to communicate my commands over vast distances. At least until Aerotech develops the new holo transceiver within two standard months, but by then it will simply be too late. There is something important to me I need protected. The Republic, it is broken. What happened on Paragus has set in motion events that I can no longer control. Not to be melodramatic, but I fear it has broken the galaxy irrevocably. This has occupied much of my attention, and there seems to be no predictable way to resolve the situation. You chased me all over the galaxy to save it? In one standard month, the Republic will collapse. Not due to war or secession, but because it lacks the infrastructure to support itself. It is unknown to all but a few, but the Republic lost the Jedi Civil War. At the time of their defeat, the Republic was on the brink of collapse. Rather than remain and continue her campaign against the Republic, however, Revan chose to leave known space. A frustrating turn of events as a rallying figurehead could have done much to restore order. So what do you expect me to do about it? There is something moving in the galaxy that lies beyond the ability of my instruments to detect or predict. I believe it to be a legacy of the Sith, but I have been unable to determine the source. Whatever this presence is, it is staging strikes at key figures throughout the Republic, and through some unknown means, it is causing the destruction of worlds. Qatar, a Miraluka world in the Mid-Rim was one such place. I have reason to suspect there was a gathering of Jedi on that world when it was rendered lifeless. I cannot find any pattern in these attacks and it is a source of frustration to me. There is some clue, however, that perhaps the Jedi are linked to these attacks, or that the targets are significant in some way I have yet to discover. I think Qatar was the planet that Juhani came from in the first game. <sighs> Listen, I, I don't care what happens to the Republic. Let it fall to the Sith. You misunderstand me. I do not wish to stop the Sith any more than I wish to stop the Jedi. It is simply important to me that the infighting amongst these Jedi religious branches be resolved so the galaxy may be put back together. I do not care which one triumphs. I only want the universe to settle down for a while, catch its breath. All these constant crises are getting somewhat repetitive. You don't care which side wins as long as the Republic stays intact. You could say I am something of a patriot. Although I was unable to serve during the troubles with the Mandalorians or against the aggressors known as Malak and Revan, I am able and willing to serve now. The problem is I can find no side to choose. Both are hidden from me, as they seem to be hiding from each other. Irritating. It is like a Dejaric board, where neither player can see the other, nor see all the pieces. It is not a fair game, an equitable game. They should try Pazak. Pazak bores me. I often suspect my opponent of cheating. I prefer predictable games, such as Galactic Economics. Uh, I don't care for the Republic. Mm, then perhaps.
perhaps you care for yourself. The fact the Sith seek you is something that must occupy your thoughts as much as the Republic occupies mine. There is no margin for error when I say that these Sith seek to murder you and all Jedi everywhere. They have been quite deficient. And when they dispose of you, there will be nothing left to stop them, and the galaxy will fall under their influence. Then I have no problem helping, if you set me free. Ah, well, there is where we are at cross purposes. I cannot set you free. You have a tendency to cause dangerous repercussions wherever you go, and I would rather keep those to a minimum. The galaxy really is a fragile place right now. I am a businessman. The Republic needs stability to survive, prosper, and grow. Whether it is led by the Sith or supported by the Jedi is of no consequence to me. Maybe you should pay attention to, your own, uh, to the troubles on your own ship. It is the proximity alarm. We are under attack. Somehow, your allies have found you. Unexpected. Must be a big tack. You will remain here under guard. I must see to the defense of my ship. Alright, well here we are, and HK gets some level ups, because I haven't played as him in a while. Uh, demolitions, awareness, and repair. We'll go with the same stuff we've been going for, uh, for a while now. Attributes. Let's get- ooh, you could definitely use that constitution, so let's get that up. Baba buoy. Okay. Uh, do I have anything I could equip to you that might be a little bit better than what you currently have? Uh, droid modular plate armor mark three. Uh, the droid unity grid might be the best for him. Uh, 40 points of cold, uh, carbonite emitter. Okay, let's go with the carbonite emitter. And the... Uh... Let's do the Ion Blaster Mark 1. Anything I could do for a better shield? Oh, I got, already got the Unity Grid equipped. Okay, and I already got his best armor equipped. What else, what else, what else? Machine interface, optimized uh, anatomy, durability upgrade gives plus one to constitution, agility upgrade. Let's, give, let's get that one. And... Wait, do I have two durability upgrades equipped? No, I've got one durability, one, okay. Uh, he's, and he's got something pretty good with the fighting upgrade. Sniper shot, reception sensors, system fortification. All right, so I think, I think we're good here. I do think I should probably give him something a little bit better than what I've got right now. Uh, considering where we are, I think the both and droid disruptor might be a, might be a good choice here. So now, uh, we, I guess we go. And we just, uh, we just raid. We just take everything that we want and nothing that we don't. The, uh, the Hakuna Matata Meditation Band. Access the droid's core. You've got, I've got a program called Shut Down. Acknowledgement. I have that, let's see. Okay, so, no, he's the, so, I guess, uh, I guess T3 is the leader? Uh, T3, why don't you access this, because you've got better computer use. Attempt to enter the count. Access restricted. Uh, the current... Enter the current count, uh, to gain full access. I don't know what that does, and it might lock me out of it. Uh, download pro program overload. Defense summary. Audience chamber. Camera in the audience chamber. Oh, okay. A lot of stuff that wants to be dead there. Interrogation chamber. Nothing there. There's nothing in there, so there's really no point in overloading the power conduit. I <laughs> can't do anything about that. Whoa, that's a lot of mines and a lot of droids. Okay, upgrade combat droid algorithms. I... Oh, sweet! The droids T3, M4, and HK47 received new targeting algorithms. Dexterity plus one. Oh my god, it was totally worth coming here with these two. 
All right. Oh boy. Okay. Like shooting fish in a barrel. Oh, I should really give him some better, some better stuff here, so he doesn't just have power blast. Oh boy! Doing a decent chunk of damage here. And they're unable to do much to us, really. Get the little guy! Get the little guy! There we go. All right, now we get to actually kill him. And get some power blasts going here. There we go. Ooh. That took it out of me a little bit. Man console poison, but I'm all oops, all droids. Oh boy. There's a lot of damage I just did there. Is that, is that all that's there? Is it just one droid? Yeah, there was just one droid there. Acknowledgement. Life support pack. The command console. Uh, unlock restricted systems. I don't have anything. Okay, program library, upload current programs. I got to shut down basic diagnostics and overload. Provide status for any system. Overload allocates digital resources to a system while also disabling safeguards may be dangerous. Shut down attempts to disable uh, a system may be dangerous. Okay. Do you have anything on you that might be handy here? Ah! A program for the containment cells. Unlock restricted systems. Return to main menu. System controls. Aha! Here we go. Containment fields. Uh, run shutdown. All right, I got experience for that. I don't know what that did, though. Anything? Oh, there is definitely something here. That's not what I wanted to attack. I wanted to attack the big honking orb in front of me. Is that the, um, is that the torture droid from, uh, from episode four? One, zero, zero. He just wanted to th say that he could count to a hundred. Who are we to take that away from him? Okay, we got a bit of a forked path here. <laughs> this is a completely unmanned mission. Only droids are heading through. Next time on Star Wars Nation Republic 2, we're going to resur re resurrect? Rescue Obizard Kenobi. Grab him the, uh, yeah, grab him and get the heck out of Dodge here. I mean, we've only seen droids so far, so it's possible this is all droid operated, but we'll see. See you all next time. Later.